Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at the 11 greatest discoveries on Mars. So, Mars is such a fascinating planet. Many people like Elon Musk want to go there and colonize it. And some say there could even be life on Mars. Right now, we're not 100% sure of this being true or not. But there are some pretty convincing photos that prove life may exist on Mars. And there's even some very strange things from popular culture that have been found on Mars. These photos are all 100% real and from NASA. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at 11, we have Face. So this one is the classic, most amazing Mars photo ever taken, and it was taken all the way back in 1976. It was done using NASA's Viking 1 orbiter, and it was captured in the Cydonia region of Mars. As you can see in the image, it looks like a face is on Mars. This image got everyone so excited as they thought it may prove life on Mars. You don't even have to have a creative mind to see this one. You can very easily make out eyes, nose and a mouth, and a head shape. And at the time, many said it looks like a young Elvis Presley. Some even claim this could have been an alien-built monument on Mars to human beings. NASA say it's simply an Earth rock, but some people don't buy this and say it's way too similar to a face. Next up is Trump's head. If you look at any newspaper, you'll likely see Trump's head everywhere. That is, if Kathy Griffin isn't holding it. Well, believe it or not, many claim Donald Trump's head is on Mars. Now, before you call the psych ward thinking I've lost my mind, check this photo out. If you look at it, this rock on Mars does kind of look like Donald Trump's head from the side. But it's entirely possible this has nothing to do with Trump. After all, his head can be found in many unlikely places. For example, outside a Madrid airport, many people pointed out an old statue kind of looks like Trump. This was captured in 2009 by NASA's Opportunity Mars rover. It didn't get much press at the time, but in 2016 when Trump won the election, it went viral. NASA and scientists say this is simply a psychological phenomena. It's kind of like how you see shapes of animals in the clouds. But you have to admit, this rock really does look like the famous businessman turned president. It's complete with his facial structure and even his long, sweeping hair. Next up is Sasquatch Skull. So we've already seen a human face and Trump's head on Mars, but now it's time for another head. Except this is no human head, instead it's a mythical creature's head. In 2016, NASA's Curiosity rover picked up this image. Now as you can see in the left hand corner, there seems to be some kind of head. Many said this is a real life alien on Mars, while others said this is the head of a large, hairy being. That is why this image was dubbed the Sasquatch Skull on Mars. NASA claim it is similar simply a rock and I think that's the most likely explanation. But it is always fun to wonder what aliens really do look like. Do you think they look like the Yeti or a Sasquatch? Or do you think they're hairless and grey like in the movies? Next up is Fish. So this one isn't just simply some kind of rock on Mars that looks like a living being. Instead, this is something really interesting which may prove life on Mars. A couple years ago, NASA's Curiosity rover picked up this very odd image. Alien fans were ecstatic as they thought it may prove life on Mars. As you can see on the surface of the red planet, there seems to be a rock formation in the shape of a fish. So why is this so interesting? Well, many said it could prove the genetic memory of fish living on Mars. Many say water or another liquid exist on Mars, and perhaps fish swim in that liquid. NASA said there could be a possibility of fossilized bones of animals on Mars. However, they said due to the lack of oxygen in the atmosphere, many fish would not be able to survive there. But they said if there ever was a large fish on Mars, their fossil would still be intact. So we've seen what seems to be animals and humans on Mars. But if you're feeling hungry, look away now, because a waffle was found on Mars. More specifically, a waffle island. In 2014, the Mars Renaissance Orbiter captured this very unusual image. The photo was captured in a 1.2 mile wide area of lava flows. That's right, the grey in this image is all molten lava. But among that lava is a waffle shaped island. I would have personally preferred something like a donut or a hot dog on Mars. But I guess a waffle shaped island will do for now. NASA say the reason this could have occurred is from lava pushing the formation up from below. But they're really not sure why it formed in this waffle shaped pattern. When humans finally colonize Mars, I want to be the first guy on the waffle island. Next up is Shiny Object. There is nothing that excites UFO and alien enthusiasts more than shiny things. Well, that is why in 2012 when NASA's Curiosity rover picked up this photo, people freaked out. As you can see, there appears to be a small shiny object on Mars. It's right on the Mars surface and is incredibly shiny as it can be seen from miles away. It was tucked underneath a lot of dusty Martian soil. 
And the really interesting thing about this discovery is, NASA don't know what it is. They said it's not a camera glitch and it's simply part of Mars's geology. However, they're not exactly sure what it could be. Perhaps it's a rare mineral or fossil. Or maybe it's some kind of alien technology glowing on Mars. We may never know until we actually go there and check it out for ourselves. Next up, we have Alien or Metal. In 2013, NASA's Mars Curiosity rover caught this photo. Obviously, it looks very interesting and kind of looks like the shiny object we saw before, but from ground view. But it isn't. This is something else. And there was actually a ton of debate online about what this really is. And I'm not just talking about UFO enthusiasts, I mean scientists as well. Some said this could be an alien creature. Then others said this was actually an alien hunk of metal from a spaceship. But NASA looked into this and they concluded it is nothing to do with aliens whatsoever. Or at least that's what they say. But really, the most likely explanation for this is a meteorite crashing into Mars. I have to say that's still pretty cool. We think of meteorites hitting Earth and we sometimes do see it on things like Russian dash cams. Seriously, why are there so many meteorites in Russia? But anyway, it turns out this was a meteorite crashing into Mars which makes the planet all the more scary. Next up is Bright Light. So here's another bright light which amazed everyone when it was caught on camera on Mars. This was caught in 2014 on NASA's Curiosity rover. Curiosity captured this very curious image of a light blip on the horizon of Mars. You can see many large rock formations, but if you look into the image, you can see a large white light. It looks small on the image, but considering how far away it was, if you scale it up, it's pretty big. But what is this? An alien? An alien spaceship? Well instead, NASA scientist Doug Ellison found out what it really was. He said the light blip was actually caused by a cosmic ray. That's right, a cosmic ray somehow hit Mars and caused this blip. Some theorists said this is way too convenient and they said it was alien life. They claimed NASA scientist Doug Ellison was simply covering up aliens. But unless there was more evidence, I tend to trust the scientist in the situation. But let me know whether you guys think this is a cosmic ray or an alien. Either way, I think it's very, very cool. Next up, we have woman. So we've seen a man's face on Mars, but now it's time for the body of a woman. So this is by far one of the most famous discoveries on Mars ever. And many alien enthusiasts say this is the most concrete evidence of alien life on Mars. This was captured by NASA's Spirit Rover in 2007. As you can see, it appears to show a woman walking behind some rocks on the surface of Mars. At first, some said this resembled Bigfoot, but later on, many said it more resembled a walking humanoid and they nicknamed it the female on Mars. The UFO blog UFO Sightings Daily said this was likely a female figure built by aliens. Perhaps it's some kind of tribute to the human life they're looking down on from Mars. Others say this is simply an optical illusion of rocks looking like a human being. But what do you think? Is this alien life, human life, an alien statue, or simply an optical illusion of rocks? Next up is Cannonball. When you fire a cannonball, you never know where it's going to land. But unless you own the world's strongest cannon, your cannonball is likely not going to end up on Mars. Well, in 2017, many people freaked out when they saw this image captured by NASA's Curiosity rover. Some said this was a cannonball left over from a war on Mars. However, NASA actually responded to speculation about this on Twitter. They said it's not a cannonball and instead is a very interesting mix of chemicals. They said it's what happens when calcium sulfate, sodium and magnesium mix together. But I'm still confused by this and I'm not sure what form this cannonball looking thing takes. Do you think NASA are lying about this and covering up some kind of alien war? Or do you think this is simply a mix of chemicals on Mars? Next up, we have God's face. So I keep saying how amazing the human face is on Mars. But a few years back, alien enthusiasts and history buffs were amazed when NASA's Mars Opportunity Rover caught this image. Many said this discovery was very similar to a neo-Assyrian god statue at the British Museum. The British Museum released a photo of their statue and many drew comparisons. If this thing found on Mars did date back to the neo-Assyrian empire, it would date back to 911 BC. But NASA say this is all the human imagination. Apparently because our brain has this image stored in our minds, we see it on the moon. Apparently because our brains are used to this image, we see it on Mars. But many doubt this and say it could really be an old god statue on Mars. I doubt anyone, including NASA, knows what happened in 911 BC. We barely know what happened then on Earth, let alone on Mars. So I think it's entirely possible there could have been someone who made this statue on Mars. But comment below whether you think I'm just crazy or whether you think there is some truth to these strange discoveries. 
check out the pole in the top right corner to vote for the most amazing discovery on Mars. I think it's that Neo-Assyrian face, it's that blew me away. And I'm surprised more people don't know about the existence of this on Mars. If you guys want more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There's some amazing videos on that channel, and I even show my face in many of the videos. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.